All right, welcome back. And uh, this morning, let's draw another pretty face, and we're gonna draw her. Obviously, very, uh, very unique looking and pretty. And let's see. Um, the lighting is kind of straight on, so it's not, um, it's not too dynamic. But it is very horizontal, so it should be a little bit easier because we can draw guidelines, uh, just horizontal lines, and that should give us some uh, pretty good measurements, and so that we can get the right uh, orientation for the head. So let's give this a shot. And I'm just going to be using my number two pencil, which is basically an HB. Uh, I've been trying these out just to see how it works. Because I usually draw with the, the 2B, 4B, and 6B, or even darker. But I'm just going to use these and see how that goes. Alright, so I'm just going to start with the eyes. Um, as you know, that's like a, what I like to start with. So let's just say this, this is going to be the width of the eye, like both her eyes. And we're going to divide it up. In third, that should give us approximately the uh, the width of each eye, just approximately, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's start on this side right here. So she's got pretty big eyes, and she's kind of looking up, so that even that will even make her eyeball look a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's say if this is the corner of her eye, this part slants up more. And it's gonna curve around because we're seeing it from the side slightly. Quarter view. And then this comes down and it's gonna go back up. And then let's say eyeball inside. Okay, the iris. Might be a little bit big. This looks a little bit big, but let's just go with that. Yeah. Alright, let's just Start shading. Again, I'm not going to be making it too accurate here. I just want to draw. So here's the highlight. I'm just going to shade that. I mean, I uh, have a little mark around it. Here's the pupil. It's going to be very dark. And then we'll just shade, give it another shade. So eyeball is actually pretty easy to draw, right, in terms of elements. It does look kind of cool. It just kind of pops right out. Okay, and then the top looks like it's pretty dark here. I can't, my phone is, yeah. I mean, there should be some detail, but it's pretty black. Could be my screen, just a little bit too dark. So now I'm just gonna come down here, top of the eyelid, darker. A little bit of shading on the corner of the eye. Down here. So I'm just gonna shade as I draw it. I don't want to plan too much. And then her eye, high lids right here. She's got pretty deep eye sockets here. Okay, let's draw in some her, her eyebrow right here. Always looks kind of weird when there's no eyebrow. Okay, so we we'll come up here. I'm checking the slant. See your eyebrow, kind of light. If I were to judge from the where does it start, like right around here, if you go straight up, it's gonna be here. So that means it's gonna come out this way. I'm looking at the slant, and then it peaks right around here. Something like that, I think. Let's just go for it. Then she's got very uh, makeup right here. Eyes oh, pretty dark. Very dark in here. Yeah, the the. Uh, the HB or this number two pencil, again, because it's so hard, let's take a little bit more effort to shade in the darker areas. Whereas the uh, the lighter pencils, I would be very light on my hand because it's, if you push in, it gets really dark, right? So I would kind of like almost just kind of let it flow over the paper. Whereas the this one, 
I really have to push right in, so it's slightly different. But it's so much sharper and you do get, get a lot more detail. Okay, so that's one eye. Let's draw let's draw her nose. Alright, let's come down and draw her nose first because it's closer to this eye. So let's see the tip of her nose or the or the wings of her nose. If I draw a line straight down, it should be right around here, it looks like. Okay, so we know the uh, the tip of her nose is gonna be somewhere on this line, and then I'm gonna judge it from this angle right here, where I'm gonna hit the wing, the wings of the nose. So maybe like here, so it'll be somewhere here. Looks a little short. All right, let's just try it. I'm gonna make it slightly longer. Down, spacing here. Okay. See if her eye were here, her wings of her nose would be right around here. Okay, so let's try that. So we could shade that, or let's come back up and, and draw this eye first then, since now that I have this. Alright, so I'm going to draw this eye now. Horizontal line, let's see. Oh, even that I'm off. Okay, so I'm going to draw this. Here's the corner of the eye. About the same size here, so I can actually draw these lines to help me. So my initial lines were off, but that's okay. That's it happens a lot when you once you start drawing, things will be off from your initial sketch. Especially when, you know, I'm not being too careful with this. So. It's almost to be expected. Okay, so the eyeball in here. Here's the highlight. Okay, I'm just going to shade it because it looks okay. Because I'm, I'm looking at this and... See if that it's... That looks normal. <laughs> like an eye, Like an eye should be, so... Okay, it looks okay, so I'm just gonna shade the people inside. Just one quick shade around. Keeping the highlight. This part's dark. Dark. Upper lid, obviously, much darker. And at this point, you know, you don't have to draw in the uh, little eyelash, things like that. We can, those can go at the end. You know, just in case if you want to erase things out um, you know we'll skip the little details especially the eyelash because it's really dark so you have to push in kind of hard okay so a little bit of shading on the eyeball here on the top because it is a ball so in, in, in here is slightly darker looks like the hottest spot is right here We'll go back under her eye. Then let's see, let's draw in right her eyebrow. So we're looking straight up here. So it's gonna be right around here. Where's the peak? The peak is gonna be right around here. So I know it's gonna be like this. I just have to figure out the slant. Let's just say that. It's gonna come back down all the way here. Yeah, the eyeball is very tricky, you know, it's it's a little bit of, um, you know, if you get the angle wrong or off, you know, it kind of changes the expression almost. And give her like a really mean face or... Okay, so let's make this darker. She's got a lot more makeup here. And in terms of directions, I'm just doing whatever... Um, Whatever is easiest, I just kind of because because the eyeball is running like this, so I'll just run it along this side. Um, I'll I can cross hatch later. Doesn't really matter if I want to clean things up. I'll I'll cross hatch and then that's gonna be able to smooth things out. 
But again, I always like this stroke, so it's okay if I leave that, I think. Okay, so this part is very dark here. All around her eye. Okay, so let's draw in not away her eyes. Now we can come down and draw her nose. So let's see. Now this line right here, again, there's no hard line on the face right here. This is we're seeing this line because of the the, sh the, sh the lighting. So try to keep it a little bit softer. Okay, so let's draw her nose. So it's a little bit tricky. Uh, there's a lot of little subtle. There's a little bit of rim lighting right here. Highlights right here, and then this part's darker. This part's darker. She's got a very sharp nose, very pretty. Comes down, and then nostrils. Here. Nostrils dark. Hooks around here, and there's always dark underneath here because this is actually the shadow. As the uh, wings of the nose tucks in. And then this part, um, yeah, be careful with this one because this is very subtle shading here. There's no line right here. There's like a slight shade. Because if you draw a line, it's going to be too harsh and it may look a little unnatural. You see that a lot on the, uh, on the other people's drawings or you know, where they'll draw the nose, they draw a line here, and they go they go like this, like two really hard lines. So to remember that is not how it is. We have to look at the shading. This is a little bit off. Might have made it a little too dark, but alright, let's just go for it. So we're shading here. Now I see the there's a highlight running along right on the nose right here. So that means this part needs to be darker. So that's how we get the, the shape of the nose. Seeing where the highlight is and then we're going to shade around it. That will give us... And that's going to bring us to form. So like here. Usually a little bit sharper here, the bone. Okay, so mine's is a little bit off here. Um, close enough. Let's keep going. All right, let's draw a lip. She's got very pretty lips. All right, so let's come down here. Again, very subtle. Don't draw too hard lines right here. So it looks like it's a little bit off here, the spacing. A little bit shifted to this side. A little bit more ex expression. So I'm just judging just distance right here. According to this, like the width, the uh, the height of the nose right here, and then the corner of the mouth, if I straight down, it's like right at the wings of her nose, so it's gonna be somewhere here, and then now I know it's here, and then on this side, let's see if I go draw a straight line, looks like it's somewhere around here, from the eyeball, and she does have a little bit of expression here, so I think it kind of goes up. I think this needs to be a little bit lower. Okay. Here's the middle. And now for a lip, uh, it's almost the same height as this, the lower lip. So just somewhere down here. Now I'll connect that. This is the middle. It's going to come up. So right here is a little bit longer and a bit flatter, I guess. Drawing her lip a little bit too big. Yeah. All right, let's just go for it. Um, again, you know, we're not... You know, she has a very pretty face, but we don't have to make it exactly like her. As long as it's a pretty face. Okay, so... 
pretty dark lips, so I'm just gonna give it one shade on the top right here, and this part is really dark. Right here, this part's slightly darker. And then right here is dark because this tucks in. It's almost this is gonna be like a line here. Draw a lower lip. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Let's try to correct the, the shapes as, as I'm drawing them. So the highlight is right around here. So just give this one shape first. It's almost like a line here. This part's darker on the inside, and then right here. A little bit darker so we can see the highlight. A little bit darker on the bottom right here. If I can get that expression on her lip. All right, so now that we have the features, it doesn't really look like her. <laughs> but let's just keep going. It looks like her eyebrow needs to go up higher. Okay, so let's fill in the, the face so we know how off we are in terms of the likeness. So looking at this, she's got a very sharp face. Uh, let's see. Coming down here, the distance you can judge the distance here, like how far does it come out. So I'm just trying to find any kind of reference points I can see. Maybe somewhere over here. So I come down here. So I'm just using any any kind of corners, you know, to, to help me judge. Right here, this part is always tricky. Trying, trying to find a distance here. Let's say this angle here. I'm looking at it, it's almost double of this. Okay, so somewhere over there. So maybe that's not bad. And then the jawline, when, whenever you look at the jaw, where, where does it start turning? If I come across, it looks like it's somewhere around here. Just lip, draw a horizontal line, it's gonna start turning here. So here I know it's the corner, and then I'm gonna judge this. Yeah, this needs to go out a lot more. Or maybe not. Yeah, this part is always very tricky because the distance of this is so far out from all the elements. That's why it's hard to get this line here. So sometimes you just have to draw something and then step back and you know, see if you can find those lines. And when you are drawing this, you notice how I'm just going, going at a very angular um, stroke here and that really helps because by extending the line you see a little bit more so like here okay just kind of keep going you can almost draw this before you draw a curve and just hit these lines first and then you come in and smooth things out it's almost like bracketing things okay so let's add in some of her hair And again, hairline is diff difficult too because we're having a, a very big gap right here. Just like you know, trying to find this line here. So let's see if I come straight up from her eye. It looks like parts right here. So we know somewhere here. And then this distance right here looks like if you double, almost from the eye here here, you double that. Okay, so I'm just finding any kind of measurement I can. And then her ear, let's see, from her nose. 
right around here. So I notice the bottom. All right, so now that I bracket some of the uh, the hairline stuff, let's add in more shading to the face so we can actually get a full face here. Okay, so this side of the face is darker. So I'm just gonna give this one shade. And here, the cheeks. Much darker here because she's also, it's fading away, but also because of the makeup, it's a little bit reddish. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more shading here. For a lip. Again, the expression right here. This part's darker. Not oh, this part too much, but I'm gonna shade the bottom here. There's nothing going on here. This shape here is always dark underneath, right underneath the lip, and then it comes out like this. So there's a highlight. But this one is right around here. Usually a little pouch right here. You can see it right here. And then right here, here's the highlight for the chin. A little bit of side lighting here, I think. You know, sometimes the photographs are touched up, so. Kind of throws you off a little bit. Here. So I'm just running across. I started here and I'm coming back up here. So, you know, because all the elements in. So this part is just a lot of observations to find these forms. All right, so let's come, let's come up here and then we'll shade this and we'll come down. So let's see highlight, it's gonna be right here. And then another one right here running along the, uh, the cheekbones right here. Yeah, very light on this. So that's the bad thing about, I guess these harder pencils. It's the big areas, you just can't cover them as quickly. So I'm going to do a lot more uh, shading here. Right here is darker. Cheek, again, there's a bone here and it's also got some makeup so it's redder. So when things are red, we can make it a little bit darker. So be careful with this crease right here. Um, if you draw a line like this too hard, it sometimes becomes very artificial. So just slow it down. Try to shade it. You know, spread things out a little bit so that you don't get that hard crease. Okay, so you have very light here. I mean, some parts are darker. and sharper, but um, let's go a little bit slower in this kind of area. And then when I'm shading here, you can make these little wiggly shapes that will help um, soften things, you know, soften up the edges and things like that. So different types of shading method, you know, instead of these lines, you can just come in and do this. Um, but I generally do that later. Um, you know, when I'm doing the fine details and stuff, you really need to come in here and just kind of Smooth things out. Okay, so let's draw. Let's shake some of the forehead again. Uh, big areas. The forehead. Let's see. If you look at it, the highlights are here, and then it's gonna come down her eye. It's gonna be right around here. It runs all the way here. Okay, because there's bone right here on the, on the eye socket. I think there's, is this the orbital bone? I, uh, I don't know what it's called. Okay, so the rest here should have a little bit more shading. Okay, 
so that we can see this highlight. And then as it uh, curves up, you know, your, your forehead right here curves away. So that's why this part is always a little bit darker on the top. Okay, let's see where we are. I mean, it is kind of pretty. It does kind of look like her a little bit, but the shading is off, so things are kind of strange, right? So I'm going to come in here and you know, really focus on more of the uh, shading to bring out the form. Like right here, it should be darker, darker, nose. This part should be a little bit darker. And her lip, now I can clean things up a little bit because it's very messy right here. Should be a little bit darker overall. So at this point, I'm just looking back at the reference and then whatever shading I see, I'll just go in here and do it in little patches. Don't be afraid to, to hit it when you see something like right here. I know this is really dark. Just punch it in. Darker here, darker here. So hopefully as I shade more and more, then things will start to look more correct. Um, you know, because with the right lighting and shading, the, you know, the shape of her head should look more correct. Of course, you know, that's assuming I shade it correctly. So, so everything needs to be consistent, you know, if this part is dark right here you know, uh, see how light this is obviously this is way too light right so that's what I mean is this okay so you just have to go in and just keep shading and keep checking things like the eyeballs are not as dark you know, now that I've shaded everything else so now I gotta come in here and really push into it with this number two pencil It's almost like ripping into the paper. If I fix her brow line too. Okay, so it's more the same. Uh, and she's got really pretty hair. So let's just say, let's just draw like one little patch right here. Because her hair is really pretty. So unfortunately with hair, um, if you want to actually draw it, you know, to shade it, you know, you, you can't be too messy sometimes. And let's just take this one strand right here. And a lot of times you do have to draw in these little shapes, like here. Okay, so just one strand right here. Hope I got the placement right. Okay, because I'm going to shade it right now. Because normally you can, you know, draw in all the little curves, you know, little, like this one's flowing this way or whatever. And then once you have all that in, uh, then you can start shading in. So like right here, I'm just gonna take this one. The highlight's right here. So the top is gonna be a little bit darker. And then it gets much darker as it comes down. So I'm just trying to follow the flow. Okay, so it comes, it turns here. Another highlight here, and it gets a little bit darker. Okay, so there's two highlight, one here and one here. And then once you have that, you just have to go in there. Shade it. Okay, and then for this, now that I have the big strand, you can draw in the smaller strands now. I can divide that up slightly. Okay, so now you look like uh, it looks like it has 
multiple strands. Darker here, even here. Okay, I don't want to put too much detail because I'm not even sure how much the hair I'm going to draw. I just kind of want to show you because I don't think I'm going to draw the whole head because it's way too much shading. And then a shadow down here or the skull. Now that I've drawn this, you know, this needs to be shaded in just to be consistent. All right, so I mean, that's just one quick strand, right? Uh, it's not that bad. But again, if you were to draw more, uh, it gets a little tedious. I think that's about it. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna put my head over it and you know, continue to shade this because I think it is a pretty face. So, all right, I'm back and here is my final drawing for this. Uh, let's see what well, kind of looks like her, and I'll probably work on it a little bit more because I haven't seen this with a fresh eye. And like if I look at it tomorrow. I'll probably find a lot more error, so um, I might continue on this just to clean things up. But it does kind of look like her, uh, obviously a very pretty face. So for the hair, I did uh, come in here and shade in some more. Uh, not too much detail, I know it looks, I mean some areas has a little bit more detail than others, but I was just mainly trying to get the uh, major form and the flow and then I just kind of shaded from there. So very uh, simplistic. and. Just kind of like, yeah, this kind of really light shading and then with the dark areas, just kind of punch it in just to get the major flow. And then once I have that, I just, um, yeah, I'm, I'm letting it go because I don't think I want to shade any more hair. For the face, I haven't, I didn't really do much on the face right here. Um, it was mostly everything around it. So I think overall, uh, in terms of style and detail, it's consistent overall. So I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm just going to call this done. Alright, so hope you guys uh, enjoy this little uh, portrait and I'll see you guys next time.